Hi, Harry Corona here, and welcome to Quantum Realm 2022. And I would like to speak today about power and how it shows up in my clients and my personal life as well. So in general, the, obviously the last couple of years have been challenging for many people on so many different levels and different ways and shows up in, in people's lives in, in the different um, ways of being, really. And it is about um, what I've seen a lot is about people who have feelings and are experiencing uh, being completely powerless and feeling completely disconnected from their power. And I want to talk a little bit about that because I feel it's, uh, and in my personal life too, I feel sometimes it's kind of rare. I haven't felt that in a long time, but feeling suddenly very disconnected from, and, and um, out of alignment, out of sorts. Um, so I know that that's, it's a feeling that many have felt. And from what I see, and I see it a lot in my clients especially, is that once they start reconnecting, with their higher self, with their uh, own spirit guides, their own inner guidance, and really remembering who they are as a being, as a, as a soul, as a consciousness. It's where the feelings of being in your power returns in the highest and most transcendent way of being. And this is really important. As, um, as we feel that reconnection, uh, and reconnecting with all that we are. We are coming back into our highest of self, into our greatest expression, into the oneness, at least with us ourselves, being aligned with our mission and purpose and life and feeling different. Even if the situation around you does not change a bit, but feeling, just feeling in power, feeling in your power, like I know what I want and I just know what I am being, I'm what I am. Then and, and um, uh, someone just told me that that was very interesting. Uh, the difference between I am and feeling the power of I am and the sense of of connection with just with yourself, with ah, this is how it feels to be me, and that's really important. That's really the best thing that you can do: connect with, you, align with yourself, align with your consciousness, with your heart, with your soul. And that's where the source of your inner power comes from. And this is how I see it, again, from working with thousands of, of, of clients, is that this is the real source of power and being connected to that and seeing the world from that space, not out of fear and uh, feeling disconnected, feeling small, feeling uh, uh, powerless and, and out of sorts, but really connected and feeling good and not feeling, it, it's again, it's, it's the most beautiful and most transcendent way of feeling power, which is different than feeling that sense of ego power of, of uh, mm, I want to control I want to have dominate something a situation I want to and sometimes if you really think about those kind of um, senses of power comes from the feeling of lack of it a feeling of I want to gain control of the need to control something have a OCD all the things are are, are those aspects of the self that out of fear need and want to control so it's important to distinguish between those two and see the difference between being outraged and angry which which a lot of it comes out and a lot of it people, people think that anger is, is negative it is not but it is important that anger is a reaction to some other emotion first is a secondary emotion to something else that is happening within you that needs to be addressed and has a certain potential, a certain um, things that need to be uh, cleared. So feeling outraged, feeling uh, anger all the time is not a way to be. It's not real power. It is something that moves you, it brings action, but it is important to know that you need to transcend it into a place of like, okay, I understand where that need for anger comes from what is it are you angry about your loss a feeling of loss of power feeling of being controlled all that kind of stuff that comes up and knowing i am actually who i am i am in my own power and being in your own power doesn't mean it doesn't have to show up like like uh, uh, expressions of, of no masculine toxic masculine forms of power and and uh, dominion over others it's not about that of, of, of forcing your opinions on others, which again, I see a lot and it's just very, very frustrating to see that people are getting um, lost in that space instead of really being, I'm, I'm just, I'm secure and I know and I feel connected, aligned with my mission and purpose and I know who I am, I know who I am as a being, I am, okay? Very different than all this outrage 
fear um, based fear based mentality not love loving self really it's all about loving self and that's where it comes through and I, that's why I love the best because it really is about that about coming back to your oneness returning to your source your own inner source and and again letting go of that uh, external um, you can say former paradigms expressions of power control um, and and um, so it's important to separate those and, and really uh, bring yourself back into that space of I am at peace with myself. Because when you're in your power, you're at peace. And that's one of the things that you know and you'll feel when you're doing that. When you're connecting with your greater self, with your with that uh, greater being that you are, there is just peace. There's no fear. There's no concern. There's no... Um, all those little uh, busyness and, 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 and uh, um, kind of feeling of that little human mind that keeps on going and wants to do things, it's just not uh, an issue anymore. All those issues dissolve away and there's no need for it anymore. And that's the beauty. And this is where you need to aspire to move into. So enjoy that. And I hope you, you learned something from this. Thank you.